The United Nations Fourth Committee met to discuss decolonization. Fabian Picardo had traveled to New York for the session together with the Deputy Chief Minister, the Attorney General, a legal consultant, his Chief of Staff and several members of the Number 6 Press Office. They all listened on as Francisca Pedros, a senior Spanish diplomat, reiterated that Spain would never drop her claim on Gibraltar. Ms. Pedros made some allegations about Gibraltar's tax regime, including the suggestion that the price of tobacco in Gibraltar was somehow responsible for the death of a La Linea police officer, Victor Sanchez, who died earlier this year while pursuing smugglers. But what worries us most of all is the unfair privilege this regime provides to the economy of the rock. This involves smuggling and this has led to dangerous situations in neighbouring municipalities forcing the Spanish security forces to increase the, the number of people it has in the region. On 7 June, a local police officer from a neighbouring town, La Linea, died while chasing smugglers. I think it was utterly disgraceful and I think it dishonoured the memory of this man, this law enforcement officer who unfortunately lost his life by uh, trying to use that loss of life, that sad loss of life, in pursuit of his duty. And something on which Gibraltar immediately expressed its condolences to the mayor of La Linea. There had been no criticism of Gibraltar in the context of this particular death. The, the uh, chief police officer in Gibraltar, the commissioner, was in, char in touch with the commissioner in La Linea also to see how we might be able to help. And to now bring that here and suggest that somehow Gibraltar had responsibility for that is nothing short of disgusting. Earlier on, the chief minister had told the United Nations the Spanish government has been on the wrong side of history every time it comes to Gibraltar. Fabian Picardo said Spain had failed to respect Gibraltarians' choice after the referendum of 67 and again after the one in 2002. He made clear, albeit implicit, references to the events in Catalonia in recent days, contrasting it to the approach by the British government to the referendum on joint sovereignty in 2002. There were also no rules that could prevent us from organizing such a referendum to hear the voice of the people of our nation. And the result was once again 99% in favor of remaining entirely British. Indeed, that result emerged even though the United Kingdom itself challenged the legality of our 2002 referendum. The UK opposed the holding of that referendum. Yet even then, there was no repression by the UK of our right to vote, no violence, no attempt to stop us from voting. No confiscation of ballots or ballot boxes. A very clear reference to Catalonia. Well, I didn't mention the word Catalonia because it was important that I should not confuse the General Assembly between the issues of secession in Catalonia as they arise and the issue of the right of the people of Gibraltar as the, the people of a non-self-governing territory who have a specific right of self-determination contained in the resolutions of the General Assembly. So I don't want to get those two confused, but I did want to show that Gibraltar had acted with the United Kingdom in 1967. We had not acted with the United Kingdom in 2002, but that there was no repression of Gibraltar in respect of the 2002 referendum and that's why we're still very comfortable wishing to continue to be British although we had to vote against the policy of the British government to remain British in our 2002 referendum. One could perhaps argue that those things happened because Spain was a fledgling democracy at the time. But Richard Buttigieg the of the Self-Determination for Gibraltar Group told the UN that Spain had sent paramilitary forces to stop its own people from voting and is not a nation that can be trusted. And for its part, the United Kingdom repeated its double-lock commitment on sovereignty and said it hoped the trilateral forum for dialogue would be restarted. GBC will carry an in-depth report on the Gibraltar delegation's trip to the United Nations on Viewpoint tomorrow at 9.30.